guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a video that I kind of did a while back. It was my one, my single favorite outfit I like to wear with my uh, cowboy boots. Well, I started recently expanding my wardrobe a little bit, so I figured now I'm going to do a video of my two favorite outfits to wear with my cowboy boots. One is a more casual outfit, and it's going to be very uh, pretty much the same outfit as before, and one is a little bit more casual or I'm sorry, no, a little more casual, a little bit more of a dressier outfit for whenever I want to dress up a little bit more, look a little bit nicer outside. It's not going to work for like a formal setting where you need a suit and tie, but whenever you just need to spice it up a little bit, elevate your style a little bit, the second outfit is my go-to outfit for that. So if you guys haven't already, don't forget the like and subscribe button below. And let's go ahead and jump into my two favorite outfits I like to wear with my cowboy boots. Okay, so before we jump into the actual clothing, um, I'm going to go ahead and get accessories and uh, fragrances out of the way. So I have two fragrances that I like to wear, Versace Eros and Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Now this is more of my going out casual fragrance whenever I'm going out to the bar, um, meeting people at night, or nighttime fragrance. So going out, um, just favorite scent, this is what I go to for that, for a more casual scent. It also could work if you want to wear it for a dressier scent, but I like this as a more casual scent, more night out, more, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> and now we have the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is a little bit of a cleaner scent. This is a more dressier scent, so I might wear this whenever I'm dressing up, or I might wear it if I'm just going to grab lunch, and I'm not really wanting to smell like I'm trying to attract other people, or people of the opposite sex, but... Um, just I want to smell clean, fresh, smell good. Yeah, that's what I use this one for. And the accessories, these are actually going to be the same for both outfits. The watch I wear is my Citizen Pro Master Diver. And the ring I wear is just a ring I got from Jared's. And I'll be wearing these with uh, both outfits. So let's go ahead and jump into the outfits I like to wear with my cowboy boots. And stay tuned to the end. I'm going to have a bonus outfit in there as well. Okay, so the first outfit we have is the more casual outfit that I like to wear. Um, this is uh, the outfit that I actually had in the first My Favorite Outfit Tour with Cowboy Boots video. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll link it in the description below if you want to go back and watch that older video. So, and the boots are the damn Post Milwaukee's. This is, that's every pair of Cowboy Boots that I own. I have four pairs of them. So the boots are those. We have the Levi's 527s for the jeans. This is the Tumble Rigid Wash. I recently went on Levi's site to look at their 527s, and they don't make the tumble rigid anymore. They do have a similar wash in the 527s called a dark rinse, and it's basically the same exact wash. I'm not sure if it has the same feel, but it is the same color as the, these jeans. Usually I'm doing a black v-neck from Express. I found that for the price, it's my favorite t-shirt. Uh, they're very soft, even right up right whenever you buy them. They fit very well, they hold up very well, so all my t-shirts come from Express. And uh, the belt I actually do is actually an Anson belt. Let me show that to you guys. I'll have to come up a little bit closer to the camera. So I got a couple belts from Anson. Usually with a casual outfit, my favorite one to do is actually my black one, which all my belts are black. With this buckle, it's silver with that black stripe. I've always found it to be um, probably the coolest one out of the ones that I've gotten. I've gotten several of their belts, and this is hands down my favorite uh, buckle that I've gotten as far as casual wear goes. And um, just I love it with uh, the pairing of the jeans that I have on in the black t-shirt. And of course the leather jacket that I usually wear is my Noah from the uh, Jacket Maker. It's a more simplified biker jacket. Now I have a cu couple styles of leather jackets. Some from the Jacket Maker, some not. Uh, this one is probably my favorite as far as casual styling goes. It just has that cool biker aesthetic to it without all the um, add. It's more simplified, so it doesn't have all the added pockets or belt or anything like that. So, And to me, this could even work if I have to go somewhere nicer, but I don't want to change. Um, this could even work in that circumstance. And like I said, the watch is the Citizen Pro Master Diver, and the ring is the ring I got from Jared's. So this is the more casual outfit that I like to rock with my cowboy boots. Um, let me go ahead and get changed, and I'll show you how I like to dress them up a little bit and elevate that, uh, elevate the style a little bit more if I'm going out for a at a nicer place or, yeah, just have to look a little bit nicer. Okay, so now this is the more dressier outfit that I will wear with my uh, cowboy boots. Once again, it's the Danpost Milwaukee's for the boots. The jeans are actually the um, bootcut jeans from Dearborn Denim that I had actually reviewed in my last video. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll link that in the description below as well as the um, video I mentioned previously. 
and it's their uh, charcoal wash. So I like these because they weren't necessarily a um, black jean. They're not a straight up black jean. They're really dark, dark gray. They might look black on the camera, but there is some gray to them whenever you see them in person. It's just very dark. That's why it looks so dark in the video. But um, it's the boot cut. They're Dearborn Denim's boot cut jeans. And then uh, the Henley I actually got from Express. I like a long sleeve Henley as a dressier shirt because it looks a little bit nicer than just wearing either a polo, I feel, or a t-shirt because of this. It uh, makes it a little bit more formal than a t-shirt. The long sleeves, I feel like, look a little bit better than a polo. And lacking the collar, but still having the button placket here, kind of is a little bit different. You don't see that a lot with people wearing. Uh, I just don't feel like Henley's people wear as often as uh, they should because they look great. But it makes a great, like, casual dressier shirt. And the belt I'm rocking is, a, once again, from Anson. Still a black strap, but I actually choose this buckle whenever I want to dress it up a little bit more. It's just a straight um, silver. It's not super shiny. It's more matte. But I just feel like the straight silver uh, just looks super great if you're trying to dress things up a little bit more. Uh, and the squared buckle is just, once again, it's a little bit different than a traditional um, buckle. So I like that. Let me get my belt back on here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We're good now. If you guys do hear any noise in the background, it's actually my uh, heater that actually kicked on. We're filming right beside my uh, furnace. So um, bear with me if I uh, if you hear any of that. I do apologize. Oh, sorry. I forgot accessories again. So accessories, like I had said in the beginning, is the Citizen Pro Master Diver and the uh, ring I got from Jared's. Now with this, if I'm not wearing a jacket, I might actually push the sleeves up a little bit just for a little bit of a different look. But whenever I have my jacket on, I always push the sleeves back down. And the leather jacket that I actually wear with this, would wear with this, is uh, my Ionic from the Jacket Maker. Throw this on just to show you guys how that would look. Oh, the sleeves are, slow. Sleeves are zippered already. So then this is the jacket that I would typically wear if I'm trying to dress up a little bit more. I just love the simplicity of it. You know, the clean lines just give it a little bit of a nicer feel to it, and it really does help to elevate the elevate the outfit, I feel. So I'm going to go ahead and get changed. I'm actually going to show you an outfit that I might do with a different jacket to kind of combine the two different styles. You know, if I want to dress up, a lo look a little bit nicer, but I still want to wear a T-shirt, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a bonus outfit that I might do for that. Okay, so for this outfit, I'm still doing the same boots, same accessories, but I'm actually using the uh, uh, the charcoal bootcut jeans from Dearborn Denim for this to make it a little bit nicer. And I'm doing the black v-neck from Express. To me, this is a great casual option to where you can do it casual or you can do it a little bit nicer, a little bit dressier for a nice night out in the town and still look great. Now, I'm actually adding a bonus accessory in with this. Is this necklace I had actually gotten from a local... Um, store called Hidden Trash, or not Hidden Trash, um, from a local store called Well Oiled, this little gemstone necklace. To me, the um, little blue gem kind of breaks up the darkness of the outfit. And the belt, I'm actually doing another belt from Anson, but this one is a different buckle. It's their uh, golf buckle. I just love the perforated look on it. I feel like it's a great, um, great buckle for an in-between look. Plus, it looks cool, so I'll go ahead and get my belt back on here again really struggling with the belts today <laughs> um so there we go all right now we're good <laughs> okay and then the leather jacket i'm actually going to rock with this one is actually going to be the uh repli replica jacket i had gotten from leather cult now this is a more casual jacket and I'm gonna get up a little bit closer so you guys can see the um, detailing on this one. So this one is a more casual jacket. You can tell the shoulder patches, back up a little bit. Okay, so it has the shoulder patches there, elbow patches. So this is definitely a more casual style of jacket, but with the dark clothing, it definitely elevates it so that you can use it as a little bit of a nicer jacket. So let me go ahead and um, get to a different angle and then wrap up my final thoughts on my outfit. Okay, so to wrap up the video, and yes, because I wore my other three uh, styles of jackets, I had to throw on the Leverapel one just to get all three, all four styles of my jackets in the video. So, my to wrap up the video, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys get 
uh, got some outfit ideas for yourselves, whether you want to go out and buy some of these pieces for yourself, or it just gives you an idea to combine some items that you have already in your wardrobe. So let me know in the comments too which of the three outfits you like the best. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.